Hello everyone. Today, again we will think about the second method of teaching grammar that is inductive grammar. Inductive grammar. So, friends, in last video, we have seen regarding the deductive method, how it is useful, how that type of method is not important in this modern world, the reasons we have seen. Now, we will think how inductive grammar is very important in these days. So, in grammar, inductive grammar, so examples are important here. Examples are first. In inductive grammar, it is very important that one should think about the grammar only, not the another thing here. So, when we think about inductive method, Examples are taken first. The reason is that when any teacher applies inductive method for teaching any kind of gra uh, grammatical item, he writes many examples on the board. For example, if you want to teach active into passive, active and passive how in the how inductive method works here for example i write a letter this is in active voice at first teacher write many examples of active voice as well as their answers also so the answer is also that a letter is written by me that is passive voice. So active voice as well as passive voice both sentences are there. In this way teacher write many examples of active voice as well as the passive voice the change changing active voice into passive voice. It means that question is there as well as the answer is there. In this way teacher writes many examples on the blackboard. Students has to observe each and every example very very carefully and then he, had, he has to find out what kind of structure, what kind of pattern is used when active changes into passive voice. So I have written only one example. What is the duty of students that they have to find out what is the subject? This is subject, verb and object. Then he has to find out what kind of changes happen in case of passive voice. This is object. It's to be. It's past participle. And this is by plus subject. So, student find out all these types of format in each and every sentence. And then he goes to the main rules. So, we can say that here rules are discovered in inductive method. Student observe many examples. According to the examples, he find out what kind of rules are applied, what kind of rules are used while changing active into passive. So we can say that rules are discovered in inductive method. This is called a time consuming method. To teach with the help of inductive method, it takes too much time. 
because the reason is that the many questions as well as their answers are given there how the how one sentence change into another form that is called the transformation of sentence every many examples are given there students has to observe it they have to write what kind of rule is followed there teacher check it again teacher writes only questions there and he asks students to change the particular sentence into another form students has to apply the rules and regulations whatever they have found teacher checks again the examples if the examples are right it's the work of inductive method and this is the process of inductive method so it takes too much time this method is useful for the lower classes only simultaneously this is called the psychological method inductive method has a psychological base psychologist thought that it is the best method to teach any kind of grammatical item so this is called a psychologically based method because students learn this type of grammar with trial and error basis and learning anything on the basis of trial and error this is called a psychological it has the psychological base or a natural method and that's why it is also called a natural method natural method of learning any kind of grammar as it is it has a psychological base and natural method we can call it as in a modern method modern modern method of learning language so these three things are very important here okay next thing suitable to teach functional grammar functional grammar in inductive method it is said that when we want to teach functional grammar inductive is the best method to apply to teach the functional grammar then language first then grammar inductive method always focuses on language learning a language more than teaching a grammar so language comes at the beginning and then the importance is given to grammar so language first then grammar so as far as this point is concerned we can say that it is a skilled oriented that is l s r w skill oriented method it means that when we we think that language is the first focus here it means that learning a language is important there and when somebody wants to learn any kind of language one has to develop listening speaking reading and writing skill so we can say that this is skill oriented fluency is important than accuracy fluency is more important than accuracy it means that if somebody uh, go through this inductive method one should speak english fluently that is importance is given that next one it's learner centered or child centered method it's a child centered method or we can say learner centered method because importance is given to the learner who wants to learn any kind of language 
so friends this all these things are very important there one more thing that we will think about that exercises and questions lead to rules and regulations that is we can say practice rules and regulations are found our rules and regulations are discovered by having too much practice of solving the questions and finding observation so this all these things are very important as far as this inductive method is concerned there so friends i think that whatever inductive method is there whatever the informations are there available in market as well as the reference books i have covered all these points here and i think that that would be the best material which is written on the blackboard i think that it's enough as far as the inductive grammar is concerned there once again in short we can say that inductive method always focuses on the examples examples are first and then grammar comes there uh, rules are discovered from example one has to find out the rules whatever the rules are there it's a time consuming method lower classes it is useful for the lower classes it is also called a psychological method because it has a psychological base it is also called a natural method of learning grammar it is also called a modern method this method is useful for teaching functional grammar language first than grammar it's a skill oriented method because listening speaking reading and writing skills are developed then fluency is more important than accuracy it means that fluency is more important than grammar here it's a child centered method exercises and questions lead to find out the rules and regulations so friends this is enough for inductive grammar method if you like if you like this video just subscribe it like it and share it thank you very much thank you